weekend. Sure did, Pam. There was so much going on in the community, wasn't there? That's right. Now, Pam, I'm going to get you to ask a couple of questions. Now, some of these we haven't told the children, but I'm pretty sure they could work out the answer. Ready? But what day is it today? Monday. Max.
and that means they have to reverse out of it. And you know what, Eliza? Not everyone has a reversing camera or reversing signals. <gasps> That's right. So I always teach my little children when we're on a footpath, they need to walk with me. Or if they're walking ahead, when they see a driveway, they have to stop. Even if the garage is closed because it's good practice. So walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. So make sure that you're always thinking about cars. Do you ever walk behind a car? No. Do you run in a car park? No. Road safety. Now here's another one. This is a trick question. If I'm up at the shops and I want to cross the road and I cross on the pedestrian crossing, can I just walk on the footpath and then just walk on the road? No! Even though it's a pedestrian crossing, you have to stop. Show us, Pam. You have to stop. And this is the crossing where there's white or yellow lines. Now you stop, Pam, and you need to look around and you make sure that the cars will stop here and then you can walk. And do you know sometimes when we walk across the road, show them what we do to the drivers. That means thank you for stopping. Do you know sometimes even when we see some older people who are trying to walk across the road, sometimes they get a little bit nervous. So we help them, don't we, Ruth? We'll help them walk across the road. Okay, but always just put your thinking caps on as soon as you leave the preschool. Okay? Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. 